Welcome back to Let's Play Titan Quest The Immortal Throne with me, Fireweaver, uh, Voldex the Voice, and Small and Chewy. Um, we're nearing our way up to Delphi, hopefully, a little bit of a journey on. There's a cave to our left. Let's go and ex explore, I think. The Small and Chewy Voice. We fuse together to create one amazing entity. You're not talking like Megazord powers here, are we? Optimus Prime. We have fused. Mega Prime! How much Transformers How's have you that? guys watched anyways? Me? Not off, not much. Not as much as Voldex, it appears. I don't watch Transformers all that much. The movies are pretty good, and the third movie is coming out soon. And this is an empty cave, apart from spiders. Ah! <laughs> uh, I've not seen. The I second completely film. disagree. I absolutely hate the movies. Really, I quite enjoyed the movies. The second one's a lot better than the first one. A lot better. Oh my god. The acting's terrible, but everything else is great. I just hate, I really hate the uh, character's design. I think it's just, w I can't tell them apart. It's a good thing they're not black. <laughs> Otherwise that would have been really racist. See what I did there? Then they, uh, you're talking about the, those two robots. Um. Oh, right. I thought you were talking about the, uh, the actors. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to hell. Uh, yeah. You are. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty cave with bugger all in it. <laughs> it's a pretty cave of bugs. Well, it's just I thought they focused way too much on the uh, human characters in the movies. That and, like I said, I hate the character designs. Or oh, this is of the uh, robots. It's like way too busy. You mean they're over elaborate? I mean, they w they wanted the realistic approach, and I actually know for a fact that, and this might actually astonish you, I think, to my belief, that it's only one person that figured out how each transformer transformed in in the uh, in both the movies for every robot. There's a YouTube video somewhere of a guy who's made like a a. a a Transformers costume. costume, yeah, and it actually does. He he actually transforms into into a car. It's, it's fucking awesome. I saw that. I, I laughed my ass off when I saw that. I know exactly what you're talking about. That came cave was kind of lame. Yeah, it was I a know. bit. It's uh, welcome to generic Oop. cave number five. With me, Voldax the Voice, Small and Chewy, and Fireweaver. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, it's a well, bit I of a shame. I still think they overcomplicated the transformations in the movies. I mean, if you ever look at the toys, you know, they transform. Rather they bend a leg, they bend an arm. Yeah, I found any of the toys I had when I was young. Um, that I just ended up breaking them. I'm going to tr transform you into a pile of crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it worked. It's the, I'm trying to work out how they transform. It's like I don't understand. It must bend this way, surely. <laughs> and then you, you bend got, it that way. Uh, and purple bores on you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They, oh, they've been eating too oh, many. They're gone now. I killed the too many berries. Oh, uh, okay. Transformers! Voldex in disguise. I'm not in disguise, I am <laughs> me. I'm, if, if anything, I'm disguised as myself. Is it? That's I'm a really very, bad very disguise. Because usually a disguise, just by its very nature, is disguising yourself as something other than yourself. Something else. I see on the map the walls of uh, what looks to be a city. We must be pretty... 
die Gleis. And we're Delphi in the Highlands. It is. Quick, grab the toffee. Hmm. Um, nom nom Oh, there's, there's a, a trap. hero. Oh, Algus Frostwind. Kill him. He's orange. Oh crap, he's... Yeah. Damn, he's doing damage to my pets. Damn. It's better that he does it to your pets than to my face. Oh, oh, that, those shoulders look good. <laughs> shoulders? That's right, we'll uh, look at them in when we get back to town. Too bad, I'm taking them. Mine. Is it? Damn it. Did it you can get shoulders. There's still a slot in, on my character info that... Um, uh, something's kicking my ass somewhere. Been used. What's this giant eye on me? What's that? One Stone of these eye. mobs somewhere is uh, being nasty. I think it's a hunter skill. Looks like it. Steady prey. I uh, checked the debuff. Yeah, I was No, really, uh, Mr. Lumpy. Oh, it seems to have got rid of my buffs. There we go. Uh, what's up here? Boop! Ah, oh, there's a road up here, guys. We have a lot of mobs. Ah, run away! Uh, what's up here? Anything exciting? No. Who said Mr. Lumpy? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, that's what I named my Cordweller. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. It's like how I named my uh, Moonkem pet in World of Warcraft, Fatty. Actually, for some reason, that suddenly reminded me about the fact that I leveled up ages ago and I haven't put the points in there yet. Um, yeah. Whilst you're, whilst you're fighting, don't go too far ahead. I'm going to go uh, uh, give myself some intelligence points and a bit of dexterity here, I think. And skills. Uh, I'd say I'm going to continue throwing points in this main storm mastery bit because I really want to unlock the next level of abilities. Uh, actually... Mm, yeah, I'm after this wisp, so that's quite a few more points, yeah. Eight more skill points. So I'm going to push right up into that. Gen. Cool. I see I'm done. Sorry, guys. Holding you back. Oh, it's the Avatar people again. You've only just noticed. Oh, wait, no. Look. People from Delphi are helping. Oh, cool. I see you. Hey, they're level 15. Why aren't we level 15? Because they are overpowered and they've obviously been playing this game longer than we have. <laughs> I see, they must be using those experience uh, shrines. Yeah. Hi, we're so the people of Delphi and that one just fell off a cliff. Wow. And considering the amount of people we've been, uh, we've had to kill to get this amount of level ups, I'm just wondering about all the uh, the amount of failed heroes who have come past here for them to have all managed to level up that high. Archimedes mirror, I need that. Goody. Well, we all need those, so we'll take oh a look at dear. those later. The city of Delphi seems to have become overrun with Smurfs. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. Perhaps if we uh, get rid of Papa Smurf, then we should be fine. I found him! Isn't that his hat? On this one. Look! <laughs> it is! I find it absolutely creepy Look. that Papa Smurf created Smurfette and she's the only female in the entire village. Yeah, she's a slow. Oh, we've run off. <laughs> uh, this... I just found a lightning damage increasing relic. Cool. Fire. 
Cool, we'll I'll hold on to it. I'll, uh, you, we'll have to take a look at those later. Well, it looks like uh, we're about to hit the main city here. Um, lots of people to chat around. I think uh, we'll just spend uh, a short while just uh, looking around. There's a quest to pick up here off of a grieving widow. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up now. Mm. So I'm going to go speak to Ayadami. All right. When the first satyrs attacked Delphi, my husband was quick to take sword against the beasts. He and a few others fought bravely, but were soon outnumbered. Stranger, I've seen him in my dreams. He told me he cannot cross the river Styx to Hades until his death is avenged. And he said, he said his killer was part boar and part man. He said the beast hides underground, somewhere around Parnassus. Okay. We've got to fight part beast, part man. That sounds fun. Time to kill oh, some there's furries. there's a, a rebirth fountain. <laughs> uh, do either of you have a boar hide? Because I think uh, what I we want to do, do is craft something up. Yeah, uh, I'm going to explain a couple of things actually whilst we're in this town. Uh, here we've got a caravan Make driver. Your weighty burden, warrior. Uh, that's basically a bank that I could uh, store things in this bank, and any time I go to, uh, there's a couple, there's a, like, a few main towns or main cities that have caravan drivers. You, you can pick up the items again out of there. Uh, with the portal system as well, you can go back to any of these towns and visit them. Long, just a lot of extra storage. Um, I also believe, isn't there a, an enchanter type person in this place? It's got a lightning bolt above its head. Yeah, we're going to be using that enchanter. I'm just gathering the materials. But one of you has a boar hide. I remember us talking about it. Um, I yeah, got I've, I've got it. Uh, so we've got the uh, a mystic oh, here. Uh, I'll go speak to the mystic very quickly. Everything done can be undone. Oh, this is the ah. person that you used to respec. Indeed. So if I needed to respec, then I can come here, and it costs a lot of gold per point, but um, I can adjust my points. That might be something I do because uh, the kind of abilities I use now are not the same that I dumped points in, like this ice shard. I'm not really using so much. Uh, so I might strip points out of it to put in somewhere else, but uh, I'll worry about that May probably off screen. May destiny teach you greatness. Here's okay, our I'm going to trade portal. you the material so that you can uh, craft something for the viewers. Yeah, sure. Uh, cool. I've not seen this trading screen. I normally just drop stuff on the ground. Awesome. So, uh, actually, do you need gold? Because you need 75,000. Yeah, I've got plenty of gold for that. So how do I do this then, if you talk me through it? Uh, well, first you need to connect that boar hide to the other piece, so that com completes. Um, let's see. You right-click it, and then you left-click on the other boar hide piece, and it'll combine. I Make sure you don't hit any of the items. Wait a minute, let's move some stuff so I can see what I've got here. Alright, here's a boar hide. Uh, so I right click the boar hide and. Add it, yeah. Left click on the other boar hide. Wait a minute. Oh shit, I've. Right, left click. But I can't seem to. I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me. I left left click on one boar hide and do what of it? No, no, no. You right click on one boar hide and then you left click on the other one. Oh, okay. And now I've got a completed monster charm. Okay. Yep. Uh, anything I need to do yeah. with that? So I've got this. Well, recipe now that you here. have all them. Mm. Yeah. You so do it at the enchanter. Oh, okay. So it's right the here. Counter. So it's been many 
years since I've done this, uh, when I've done my playthrough, so... Welcome, yeah. welcome. How can I help you? Uh -huh, I so was looking over the stuff. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to place my formula here. And it says I want what, a, my boar hide in this one. I need this scroll of the breaking wheel here. And an essence of the golden fleece in here. 75,000 gold. And it will create an artifact. Uh, yes. And that's made a oh, touch money. of the fall. Which is uh, extra life leech. Requires player level 15, so none of us can use it yet. But, uh, yeah, I'll drop it on the floor so, uh, so you guys can see it. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, it's yours, dude. Oh. No, you should be able to drop it. Uh, apparently, I can't. Oh, Poik's on the screen. I'm Honored on. to do business. Let's try that. Yeah, now I can. Uh, there you go. That's, oh. that's it. Mine! Well, no, it's casting speed stuff, oi. <laughs> I was just taking a look. Just taking a quick look. Uh, I guess, yeah, sure. You use it. Cool. Uh, so I'll take it and hang on to it. Appropriately it. named, I think, Touch of the Fool. Who's touching my fool? Okay, there's nothing Wasn't up me. here. <laughs> okay, well there's an arcanist here. I sell um, to the wise and powerful. Looks like he's. Are you uh, sure you should be shopping here? <laughs> looks like he just sells like staves and stuff. So there's probably some upgrades there I can look. Travel through. far, away from here. Yeah. Um, he has a really I weird voice. Um, other than that, I think what we'll do is. Uh, We'll finish off by talking to the Oracle. Uh, do you remember where the Oracle lives? Uh, in the big At building the in the middle. House. Where, where, where? I'll follow you to it. I'll talk to this dude first. Oh, okay, yeah, the temple attendant. Let's, I'll, I'll talk to him first. Seeker, we thank you for your sacred offering. Enter and present yourself to the great Oracle. Okay, so definitely in here, and we've just finished that quest for the updated offering. Mm. Got 5% uh, permanent cold resist. Awesome. Oh, excellent. That's so, nice. uh, yep, I'm going to go speak to the uh, Delphic Oracle of Apollo now. Welcome, Seeker. You have come for a prophecy. I shall channel Apollo's prophecy if he wills it. Wait. Wait. I, the Oracle of Great Apollo, am having a vision. The Ancient Ones emerge and run in chaos's full eruption. An evil band in every land, delighting in destruction. What seems shapeless, formless, and faceless, the Great One is releasing. So to enslave both God and knave, their sorrows thus increasing. Who is man to stay the hand of those the gods can't better? And a hero yet takes the bet to break the evil's fetter. Three lights of hope to help you cope, one south in sand and wonder. One to the east. Wait, where they got? What the, the hell are you? And tear their plan asunder. The final light will mark the fight, where you must face your fear. A door ajar, you travel far, and yet you find it near. Uh. That was pretty awesome. Uh, there is more to talk to the Delphic Oracle about, uh, but we will save that till uh, next episode. I think that's quite a good uh, cliffhanger to leave it on. So uh, on that uh, blinding bombshell, we'll see you next episode.